Okay people, so we are back with another hotfix update for BR3, this one adjusting a few of our beloved weapons. The date is the 20th of August 2020. Let's go. How's it going guys, my name is DPJ and today I bring you another BR3 video. If you do enjoy it, leaving a like really helps out and subscribe if you do want to see more. So today's update just addresses uh, a few weapons and adjusts them slightly as well as introduce this week's um, Iridium event which goes live probably by the time you've watched this video it's probably already going to be live on your platform and it's lasts until the 27th of August which will be next week Thursday ends that day 9am PST. So getting straight into this update, it's only going to be a quick one people. Turns on the summer 2020 anniversary event, show me the Iridium. Live until August 27th. Replaced Mayhem 4 gear with Mayhem 6 gear in Guardian Takedown boss pools. That's pretty cool. Increased the health of Titus, Herb and Juno in the Bounty of Blood add-on content. Okay, so weapon adjustments. And there's a few here, so let's get into it. Monocle, increased the weapon damage here. Head Explosion also has increased weapon damage. Storm and Firestorm reduce charge time and increase weapon damage. That could be an interesting one, people. The Firestorm is actually a decent weapon as it is. The ASMD increased weapon damage, slowed down the orb and increased the explosion damage. The ASMD is a weapon I don't think I've ever used. I mean, I've probably tested it out a couple of times. It has been abysmal, so it's probably going to be a lot better now. The Layuda increased weapon damage, decreased reload time. That could be quite decent guys, I mean that was a weapon when we started BR3, it was one of the best in the game. They nerfed it in my opinion into the ground, it's never been the same since. Hopefully we see that little spark again here. The auto aim increased weapon damage, that should be pretty cool too. Recursion increased the ricochet cap from 5 to 7, interesting. Star Helix increased weapon damage. The Orga increased weapon damage, that's actually an underrated weapon as it is. One of the best assault rifles in the game right now that no one uses. The saw bar increased weapon damage, increased the radius of the charged projectiles, could be interesting too. The damned increased weapon damage, the smug increased weapon damage, doubled amplified damage when weapon shield is at max capacity. The web slinger increased weapon damage, I mean they buffed this in the past, I mean it was still pretty poor. They buffed it again, will it be any better? Well we will see. The globe trap increased the number of shots before weapon breaks, I mean to be honest this is a CLV weapon, I just I just don't like, I mean I can't really see this making it any better in my opinion but I suppose there's probably a few out there that enjoy this weapon so I hope this helps you guys out. Juliet's Dazzle increased weapon damage, the good juju doubled the critical hit bonus per body shot, pretty cool, and general grenade buff increased grenade damage across the board. Now that is super interesting because in my opinion grenades have been for a long while now just below par. If you use a grenade build in Mayhem 10, 9 times out of 10, it's going to be pretty poor. When the game first come out, or the few months after the game first come out, some of the grenade builds we were seeing were absolutely incredible. Since they generally nerfed the Hex and the Firestorm, grenade builds in my opinion have been quite rare. So hopefully now we'll see a few which are actually viable on them higher Mayhem levels. And guys, that is it for the hotfix which lands today, August 20th, 2020. By the time you've watched this video, it's probably already applied to your platform. So let me know down below in that comment section, people, what you think about some of these changes. Some interesting ones in my opinion, mainly the Lyuda, the Firestorm, the Olga, the Good Juju, the Web Slinger, and definitely the increased damage buff across all grenades. That could be pretty cool too. And on that note, we have come to the end. If you guys enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Borderlands, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video, I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.